Hi and welcome back to a new quick tips tutorial and yeah before I start this video please like and subscribe and leave comments and now let's jump straight in. Here we're going to have a look at the way to insert an external plugin on a track. So we're looking at the DBX uh, 166 XL here that I've got and I'm going to put it on the drums here. So the way to do this is to go down to utility and insert the in out. Okay. Then you select the in and outputs that you want that are assigned to your external effect. And then you have to go ping for the latencies, right? So you hit ping, then it hits a signal and then you get like the sample latency here. Now, what happens here though, is that it's not going to be in sync. Now you're going to go, oh, it's not in sync, but it's, we've done the ping and the latency offset, duh, duh, duh. But what you need to do is go into the audio preferences. Go to general. Then you want this here compensation to be on all and not just audio and software instruments. You need it on all. OK, so now this should be in sync. The here is coming into my compressor and back out. What you do need to know though is you can't bounce that. That will not be taken into consideration if I do a general bounce here. What you need to do is print that out to a track. That means record that out as a track physically to another track. Okay, you just create a track like so audio track uh, then you can do the inputs to bus straight to bus 12 already okay create then what will happen here this will go straight into here so we can just bring this down you can see it coming through here then I can just print that drum buster here I make that a separate file and then obviously mute that. So that's the way you would export a bus or any file to a audio file if you want to print it with this on. Well, I hope this video was useful to you. If it was, like, subscribe, and I will talk to you soon.